I am Devraj Goyal, Professor Educational Technology from CIET and CRT New Delhi, India. Today we will focus on research scenario of teacher education in India. It is under the course Perspectives, Issues and Research in Teacher Education. Let us delineate the objectives. After going through this module, the learners will be able to understand the research scenario in teacher education, list the issues related to research and development, work out the possible solutions of the identified issues, and enunciate the criteria for assessment of teacher education institutions and work out the research agenda. Introduction. Research and development go together. Research leads to development and development to research. Now we will focus on the research scenario of teacher education in India. The present module attempts to present the research scenario of teacher education cutting across various facets as follows. 1. Faculty crunch in Indian education system. The Indian education system from school to higher education including IITs and IIMs is plagued by a massive manpower crunch. In school education, poor performance of big states is affecting the national picture. In the case of higher education, 42 central universities with sanctioned faculty strength of 16,602 have 6,542 vacancies. 15 IITs have 1611 vacancies against the total strength of 5092 faculty positions. 13 IIMs have to fill 111 vacancies out of 638 positions. Four Indian Institutes of Information Technology have almost 50% vacancy as 104 out of 224 positions are vacant. National Institutes of Technology across 30 states have 1,487 vacancies of the total 4291 positions. Even less than a decade old Indian Institute of Science Education and Research with five branches has been afflicted with faculty crunch. 131 vacancies out of the total strength of 518. But it is the school education that is facing the real heat. Throughout the country, there is a vacancy for 12.59 lakh teachers in primary and upper primary schools. Uttar Pradesh leads the way with 3.12 lakh vacancies against the sanctioned strength of 8.18 lakh. Bihar has not been able to fill 2.62 lakh teaching positions, whereas West Bengal has 1.8 lakh vacancies. For its size, Chhattisgarh has 62,466 vacancies, Madhya Pradesh has 89,000 vacancies, Gujarat 11,695, Karnataka 18,253, Delhi 10,074, Andhra 15,379 and Kerala 3,013. The Times of India on the bus Saturday, August 4, 2012. The Consultative Committee dealt with the issue of proposed national mission on teachers and teaching. The committee was told about two specific proposals by UGC on teacher training. There is growing void and vacuum in the state universities. Persons have been serving as temporary lecturers, temporary teaching assistants year after year in the state universities. Posts are not filled after superannuation. There is abrupt cut in the teaching and research positions. Even when the positions are sanctioned by the center, there is no state concurrence. Number two, philosophical foundations. A number of studies were conducted during the recent past on educational implications of the Sikh Guru Bani, Jasbir Kaur, 1998, Guru Nanak Dev University, Amritsar, Gurpal Singh, 1999, Punjabi University, Patiala, Bhagavad Gita, Subhash Chandra Panda, 2004, Barhampur University, Barhampur, Sunita Singh, 2006, Dr. Ram Manohar Lohia University, Faizabad, Gram Gita, Shobhna Prushottam Saoji, 2006, Sant Gadge Baba Amravati Vidyapit, Amravati, and Harman Hesse's Philosophy, Alka Makwan, 2008, SP University, Vallabh Vidyanagar, and other philosophers. 
doctoral studies have been conducted in India on Sankhya philosophy, life and work of Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar, Sakhi of St. Kabir, educational ideas of Pandit Deen Dayal Upadhyay and Madan Mohan Malviya, philosophy of Mahatma Gandhi, Dev Atma, Gurudev Tagore, teaching of Bhishma in Mahabharata, Gautam Buddha, Shri Panduranga Shastri, Upanishad Osho of Rajneesh, Sir Syed Ahmed Khan, Yoga Vashishta, Dr. Sarapalli Radhakrishnan, Shri Pandurang Atavale, Swami Vivekanand and Shri Aurobindo Ghosh, Ramakrishna Mission, Vinoba Bhave, Mahatma Jyotira Phule, Chhatrapati Sahu Maharaj of Kolapur, Moti Bhai Amin, Magan Bhai Pidesai, Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and Martin and Vedantic model of Swami Ramatirtha, Guru Arjun Dev, advocated Guru as the pivot who can lead his disciples on the path of reality. His educational thoughts are deeply rooted in Indian tradition to acquire self-realization and self-manifestation. Truth, love, beauty and bliss are the four doors of the building of spiritual education. He advocated absolute purity, absolute love, absolute honesty and absolute unselfishness as the four pillars of the building of international understanding. Guruji advocated that education is not the monopoly of the teacher alone. The children evaluate the work themselves. Basically, the Sikh gurus were idealists and their philosophy comes under the terminology of idealism. But their understanding of the problems and their solutions were realistic and practical. They always worked out solutions in the context of their social, cultural, ethical, moral, political and economic nature. Sikhism is basically a relationship of guru, that is teacher and Sikh, shish. Thus, their philosophy of life has great relevance with respect to philosophy of education. The concepts put forth by Sikh gurus with special reference to aims of education, curriculum, pedagogy, teacher, pupil, disciple and teacher-people relationship are not merely theories but involve practical wisdom. The axiology of Sikh gurus emphasizes on value-oriented education, which is the main construct of individual's character. The trio of their value system is Naam Japna, Vandachakna and Kirtkarni. The metaphysics of Sikh gurus involves the root of reality. What, who, what is true is real and what is real is true. They suggest a honest life with complete faith in him. Sikh gurus, being great moral and spiritual teachers, emphasize the cultivation of intellectual, aesthetic, moral and spiritual values in life. In the views of Sikh gurus, it is essential that there should be overall development of man from mental, intellectual, moral and spiritual horizon. For a self-realized soul, the entire cosmos is a manifestation of God. There is nothing more purifying on earth than knowledge. The mundane man should go through Bhagavad Gita to liberate the self from Maya. Humanism is one of the important virtues of divine life. The platonic love is real love between souls to soul. Various educational and philosophical implications of Bhagavad Gita are the status of guru is more than that of God. A teacher with sound personality and super character is the only ideal. The teacher is a jyot and Jyotsna, which enlightens the little ones. Guru Ved Vyas provided divine power of sight to Sanjay. It flags a message that a teacher should provide insight to his pupils to awaken their conscience so that they are in a position to discriminate between sin and punya, good and evil. Every teacher should be a friend, philosopher and guide for his learners as Gita depicts through the association of Lord Krishna and Arjuna. The objectives of education and learning environment need to be designed in the light of Prigraha and Nigraha. Lord Krishna led the war, but for the realization of his not for the realization of his selfish objectives, but for public welfare. The Siksha of Gita is not for Arjuna only, but for all times and all generations. Gita gives a Siksha of control of sense also. One can liberate oneself of Maya or illusion. Strong determination and faith are the keys to success. 
karma with bhakti has wonderful returns scientific attitude gender equity national integrity respect for all religions cleanliness humbleness sensitivity punctuality dignity of labor patriotism are some of the values identified and confirmed from preaching of gram gita the text of the national saint tukdoji maharaj in the form of gram gita is its own testimony for example agyanech durvate pragati dhan he gribanche rakt sharm hi gavanchi dolat desh dukhi janu majhe chi shreer harman has his philosophy focuses on be becoming being and then de becoming educational philosophers are disappearing from the indian scene as a result state and judiciary have started dictating education how philosophical foundations can be strengthened we observe 11th of november as national education day for celebrating the birth anniversary of molana abul kalam azad let all of us ask a basic question to our own self that to what extent we have been in a position to emancipate azad ourselves from caste creed region religion relation in this secular state of india to what extent we have been in a position to have democratic socialistic dialogue to what extent we have been in a position to integrate naturalism of gurudev rabindranath tagore to relate the liberty of learner where does the viveka of swami vivekananda flow through our education where is the statesman and educational philosopher of the class of dr s radhakrishnan to enlighten us let us search and research three historical foundations from escola normal during the portuguese goa 1841 to 1961 to the proposal for e teacher education 2008 india is a witness to variety of teacher education the credibility of classical teacher education is fully established the land area location institutional plant environment objectives curricula learning resources modes of transaction evaluation modes and mechanisms placement renewal are talked of even today but there are question marks on the present date teacher education distance education has done the alarming harm to teacher education being most deployed and diluted and least professional commercialization is a big threat to most of the traditional teacher education colleges none of the innovations in teacher education such as longer period teacher education integrated teacher education personalized teacher education specialized teacher education could be institutionalized further either these have faded or are limited to the places where from these originated there are rare research studies on the historical foundations of teacher education the benefits of decentralization and autonomy were well demonstrated by escola normal richard cabral 2007 pune university pune a study has been reported on the origin and development of ancient indian universities amar singh 2008 dr r m l awadh university the ancient universities namely takshila nalanda vikramshila vallabhi odantpuri jagdalpur kashi kashmir mithila nadia dhara and kannoj have a lot to offer regarding the profiles of acharyas attributes and dedication of learners curricula modes of transaction examination and evaluation the autonomy of education and decentralization of management were remarkable the expertise and character of each acharya was a focus of attention for students from far and wide the profiles of the dwar pandits and top administrators of the universities are still on records each ancient indian university was unique in specialization it was a honor to be the scholars of these universities each word spoken by the scholars was establishing the testimony of the text let us excavate the history even the remains have a lot to offer to the present teacher education now we go on to sociological and psychological foundations in this age of nuclear families we have added focus on pre primary education there are rare programs on the pre primary teacher education in the age of two and a half years of a child we are struggling with the problems of first transition from home to preschool scenario of the mental state of the child 
parents, teachers, and the support staff need no demonstration. On the other hand, we have an Ashrit ashrams for the old. There are problems of universalization of primary education, problems of population education, there are problems of adolescent education, there are problems of education at plus two stage, there are problems of medium of instruction. English language as a medium of instruction seems to be our biggest problem. There are gaps between teaching styles and learning styles. There are problems of teacher burnout and rust out. There are problems of degeneration of values and institution. There are problems of teacher absence. There are problems of para-teachers, stress, strain, anxiety, tension, psychoneuroticism are on the increase. There are problems of education with mental as well as physical burden. There are problems of value conflicts and value clashes in spite of the pious of, of all-round development of personality through holistic education. Our society is turning from naturalistic, idealistic, and humanistic to existentialistic and pragmatist. Higher is the administrative power one has, lower have been found the effect attributes. Social and psychological abuse is on the increase. Value discussion model, value analysis model, value clarification models, and jurisprudential models have not been employed rigorously. Some studies on applied psychology have been found to have desirable results in various areas of guidance and counseling. Attempts have been made to address learning difficulties, learning disabilities, psychoneuroticism, problems of stress, strain, and burnout, deviant behavior. Though the effectiveness is evident in some cases, but the efficacy needs to be studied further scientifically. There are wide gaps between school education and teacher education. All of us are for child learner-centered education, but even when we know that children are imperial, incorporative, and develop their own theories, we go on superimposing our models on them. There are wide differences between the laboratory conditions of teacher education institutions and the field conditions. The training needs pursued by most of the educational administrators and headmasters are related to maintaining appropriate human relations, stress management, conflict resolution, and group dynamics. Students are in need of emotionally supportive teachers. Democratic environment is needed than authority and suppression. Studies on psychosocial factors of adjustment of school teachers gave a message to policymakers and administrators that all attempts should be made for the compatible placement of teachers in the context of their service place and conditions. The high professionally committed teachers have been found to have high occupational stress as compared to low professionally committed teachers. High professionally committed teachers have been found to have high job satisfaction. Various models of teaching such as CAM, that is concept attainment model, inquiry training model, and advanced organizer model have demonstrated their effectiveness. Education programs for enhancing emotional intelligence of student teachers were found to be successful in terms of raising the emotional quotient levels. There are questions on teacher morale. There are problems of organizational behavior and organizational development. There are unhealthy staff constellations. There are challenges of organizational climate development. We teachers have wanting knowledge bases of child psychology, adolescent psychology, and adult psychology. Behavioral problems are on the increase. There are value clashes. There are rare suitable inputs for the marginal groups. In this age of fast modernization, there are problems of acculturation. How to realize equity, equality, and excellence at the same time, there is a need to strengthen applied psychology and modern sociology. Now, higher is the administrative power one has, lower have been found the effect attributes. Could we reflect on this? What are the possible research areas in education with respect to sociological and psychological foundations? What are the social and psychological challenges faced by the learner from preschool to higher education? There are wide gaps between school education and teacher education. 
could we mark by these gaps? Teacher education parameters, expectations, field expectance and relevance. Doctoral studies have been reported on the field expectance and field relevance of teacher education program. Asman G. Shukla, Banastali Vidyapit, 2005. Teaching comp competencies expected and practiced, Jyoti Bhavane, University of Mysore, 2001. There have been found wide gaps between the expectations and practice. Job satisfaction of teachers and performance. Number of studies have been conducted on job satisfaction of teachers and their teaching performance and effectiveness. Dharmendra Malik, Maharishi Dhananda University, 2005, J. Kaur, KUK, 2004, K. Venkateshwara Rao, Sri Venkateshwara University, 2002, I. V. R. Reddy, Andhra University, 2001. Job satisfaction has also been studied with respect to freezingness amongst teacher educators, M. Kumari, Gorakhpur University, 2005. Values and attitudes towards teaching and teacher effectiveness, G. Singh, Punjab University, 2002. M. Burma, D. A. V. V. 2002, conducted a study of job satisfaction of teachers in relation to job stresses, role commitment, vocational maturity, and social intelligence. M. L. Sharma, Punjab University, 2002, conducted a study, comparative study of job stress, job satisfaction, and adjustment of college physical education teachers of Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, and Union Territory, Chandigarh. Studies have been reported on job satisfaction, professional and educational interest, creativity, attitude towards teaching of teacher educators at different levels of teacher education, M. Core, Punjab University, 2001. V. P. Pal, Punjab University, 2001, conducted a study of job stress, job satisfaction, and adjustment of physical education teachers in relation to their job placement. S. Khalai, um, Punjab University, 1999, conducted a study on job satisfaction and job dissatisfaction of dual factor theory in relation to personality types and self-concept of secondary school teachers of Thailand. A. Mary Lily Pushpam, Bhartiyar University, 1997, conducted a study on attitude towards teaching profession and job satisfaction of women teachers in Coimbatore. P. R. Manjula, Bhartiyar University, 1995, has done an intervention into the job satisfaction of higher secondary school teachers of the Coimbatore district of Tamil Nadu state. A. Hamid, MDU 2002, conducted a study of the accountability of secondary school teachers in relation to their job satisfaction and morale. B. Srivastava, University of Lucknow, 2002, conducted a study of mental health, values and job satisfaction among teachers of Hindi and English medium schools. A synthetic view presents that there are problems of mental health, job dissatisfaction, and job stress. Now, influence of psychosocial factors in teaching. Studies have been conducted on the influence of certain psychosocial factors in scholastic achievement of B.Ed. students. C. Manchala, Shri Venkateshwara University, 2005. S. H. Chahar. MDU 2005 has conducted a study of teaching com competence of student teachers in relation to certain non-cognitive variables. S. Shalik, Sri Venkateshwara University 2004 conducted a study of academic achievement and prevalent values of diet students in Andhra Pradesh. K. Joshi, Gujarat Vidyapit 2003 conducted a study on the teaching aptitude of higher secondary school teachers of Gujarat state in context of some psychosocial variables. N. Bhargava, Bundhelkhand University, 2003, conducted a study of personality characteristics, values, and SES of pupil teachers in relation to their attitude towards social change. G. P. Rawal, Saurashtra University, 2003, conducted a study on approaches of coping with stress factors and teacher performance. A study was conducted on social intelligence and teacher effectiveness. R. Agrawal, Bundelkhand University, 2003. V. Goswami, Banastali Vidyapit, 2003, conducted a study on effect of participatory teacher education programs on the conceptual development and self-development of student teachers. 
G. Parikh, Punjab University, conducted a study on the effect of relaxation technique on job stress in relation to blood pressure, hypertension, and heart rate in women teachers. M. S. Chanakwar, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, 2002, conducted a study of personality characteristics of scheduled castes and non scheduled caste primary teachers in relation to their classroom adjustment attitude towards teaching. K. K. Tripathi, Punjab University, 2002, conducted a study of role structure and role stress in relation to work satisfaction of primary school female teachers in Orissa. Y. K. Anand, Punjab University, 2002, conducted a study of role efficiency of polytechnic teachers and its relationship with personal and organizational characteristics. K. D. Patil, SNDT Women's University, 2002, conducted a study of teacher performance of junior college teachers in relation to some personality dimensions. R. Balu, SNDT Women's University, 2001, conducted a study of the role performance of teacher educators in relation to their profile. M. Pal, Punjab University, 2001, conducted a comparative study of attitude of school and college teachers towards creative learning and teaching in relation to mental health. A. Khalek, Punjab University, 2001, conducted a study of burnout in relation to self-concept and introversion, extraversion among elementary school teachers in Assam. R. Rao, MSU, 2001, conducted a study development of an in-service training program for Navodaya Vidyala teachers in meeting students' emotional needs. K. S. Shakuntala, Bangalore University, 2001, conducted a study of the adjustment of secondary school teachers in relation to their teaching competency, emotional maturity, and mental health. J. Kaur, Punjab University, 2001, studied mental health as related to vocational maturity of male and female prospective secondary school teachers. G. Yadagiri, Osmania University, 2000, conducted a comparative study of professional attitudes and teacher effectiveness among physical science teachers of Rangaradi and Medak districts of Andhra Pradesh. A. H. Kulkarni, Shivaji University, 2000, conducted a comparative study of male and female secondary school teachers with respect to their personality traits, competency, and teaching effectiveness. Psychosocial factors have largely been found affecting teaching in India adversely. Attitude towards teaching, S.K. Gupta, Barthullah University, 2000, compared creative and non-creative secondary school people teachers of Madhya Pradesh in relation to values, adjustment, and attitudes towards teaching. D.T. Reddy, Mysore University, 2000, conducted a critical study of the professional pleasure in relation to creativity and change proneness among secondary school teachers. D. Balant, MDU 1999, has done an investigation into the study habits, reading interest, attitudes towards teaching, and their bearing upon the achievement of the pre-service teachers. S. Patanras, SPU 1998, conducted a study of the attitude of student teachers towards the teaching profession and globalization with reference to certain variables. A. M. Reddy, Osmania University, 1997, conducted a study of the attitudinal changes amongst the pre-service teacher trainees towards the teaching profession. There are attitudinal changes towards the teaching profession through pre-service teacher education. Creativity and change proneness definitely contribute to professional pleasure. In spite of all the impeding factors, there is professional commitment and favorable attitude of Indian teachers towards teaching. The entire globe likes to emulate Indian teachers. Thank you.